We're going to talk about commitment. And there are many jokes around commitment. Uh, maybe it's even a negative word uh, to humans today. I know there's old jokes about men being afraid of commitment. Well, I've known many women that are afraid of commitment also. But this is a commitment of a different kind. And despite what you might have associated with the word commitment in the past, know that it can be the most freeing, fulfilling activity that you will ever be a part of in mind and heart. This is because I'm asking you to make your first commitment to love God. Really, make a commitment right now that you're going to love God. And because you love God, you love all that God has created. You don't just love the idea of God, you also love everything that you see, because you are in God's world. You love your family. You love your co-workers. You love your friends just as you love yourself. In Matthew 22, verse 37, it says, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. See, that's a total commitment. That is a wholeness. There's no part of you that is holding back. You're loving with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul. Now, if you're going to do that and be committed to that, do you love yourself? Do you love yourself? You're God's child. You're created in the image and the likeness of God. Can you love yourself completely? When you make a commitment to God, when you love God, when you love the presence of God, the Spirit of the Christ, you will find that it is more and more in your awareness and it is within you. This is the divine self within you. And all the people that you have in your life, the love of God and the love for God within you, create an environment of acceptance. You love because it is your nature to love. Nothing is held back. It is a total commitment. A commitment to love God is a resolution to love all that God has created. I pray today that you are able to make this commitment to love God and to love all that God has created. God bless you.